evening and thanks everyone for coming. My name is Sasha Torrance and as CEO and founder of MIA, I'd like to take this opportunity to discuss some of the company's successes, our areas of opportunity, our marketing, our economic status, and our collective goals and things to come for, for MIA. To start, I'd like to discuss our vision statement, which is to become the number one salon and in-home convenient hair care service in the southeast region of the United States. MIOP started in 2009. We grossed $25,000 that year. By 2010, we grossed $80,000, and we're expected to gross one hundred dollars to $110,000 by the end of 2011. That definitely shows a successful pattern. It's tripled the increase of our gross sales from 2009 to 2010, and it also shows that our company is growing strong and it's, gonna, it's projected to do better than last year. Areas of opportunities we have discovered, uh, such as products and sales. Our product sales uh, were our weekly based and in the beginning of this year, our product sales were up to around $500 and were fluctuated now down to $178 to $210 a week in product sales. And as you can see here, we started out the year strong with $500 and we fluctuated down to a roughly $210 um, maximum on our weekly sales. Now, to improve those sales, we've implemented customer gift cards, uh, also, we have a frequent buyer product pro program, and this is going to offer extra incentives and give those customers an extra motivation so they will buy some of those services. Um, another area of opportunity is our convenience of service, and what we want to do is we want to implement the on-call stylist. Um, they're going to do in-home hair care service. So if there is no room at our shop and there is no room for a, a, a on-duty uh, stylist to go out and service, we're going to have a backup. We're going to have an on-call stylist to go out and meet this consumer's needs. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to eliminate the waiting periods and it's going to eliminate overbooking as well. We definitely expect this service to add an additional 20% to our gross sales. So that's going to be a big thing that we're going to be working on. We're definitely going to be trying to implement that as, as soon as possible. Our marketing um, is... We're definitely going to fine-tune our marketing. We're going to start reaching out and going to different events, such as the Cherrywood Fest, the Dogwood Fest. We started out in Auburn Fest, and we had great success there. That's a great market. A lot of people that wear our hairstyles want to know how to do our hairstyles. They all come from, from that particular venue. And we're also going to focus in on doing the Bonner Hair Show um, every August in Atlanta, Georgia. And that is a hair show. A hair expo actually and um, what it is is a lot of stylists that want to implement new techniques they can pick up the MIOP techniques our products we're going to be doing hair actively on site so other consumers can see about us hear about us get our business card get our uh, information and that's going to widen our consumer base <clears throat> excuse me now also uh, going to these venues, they're going to expose us to about 1.5 million customers. These are potential customers, so we definitely expect to see an uh, increase in growth sales roughly from 15 to 55%. Our economic status is strong. MIOP is progressing and we're definitely increasing sales. In fact, we've increased sales over $55,000 in the last two years. Our uh, collective goals um, are to implement the on-call. We expect a 20% increase for having on-call stylists. And in addition to that, it is strengthening our vision statement, which is to the convenience part of it. We definitely want to motivate and push convenience. The new things that are coming to MIOP are going to be our interactive website, um, which we're going to actually implement selling our products online. So again, strengthening that vision statement. We want convenience. The customer can order it. It'll be shipped to their door. Very convenient. We're also going to be reaching out to other salons in beauty supply uh, services. We're going to reach out to these retailers to put our MIOP products on those shelves so we can generate more income that way, widen our customer base, and it's going to definitely bring uh, an increase from 10 to 35 percent 
and gross sales. In conclusion, we've definitely become successful. Since 2009, we have tripled, and now we're about to four times increase our gross sales. Um, we had some areas of opportunity, but we implemented awesome plans, such as the uh, product sales. We're going to do we're going to do the customer care cards, and we're going to do the I'm sorry the uh, the frequent buyer club. Um, also, with our marketing. We plan on attending different venues that's going to widen our consumer base and expose us to about 1.5 million consumers, and these are potential clients. So that's going to give us an increase in sales. Economic status, we're progressively getting better. We have increases over our sales in, in the past year and in this year as well. And our collective goals is to implement that on-call service. We expect 20% back on that. And our new things coming are our interactive web with product sales being available to customers. We're going to get our product out into the market, such as with salons and beauty supplies. We're also going to be <clears throat> making money moving forward and trying to be innovative. We're, reinvest we're reinvesting our profits into this business to continue to market and brand our name. Are there any questions? Um, yes. What do you anticipate me out being in the next three years? In the next three years, I hope that Miyab has a salon in each one of the southeast uh, region of the United States, um, states such as Florida, uh, Georgia, uh, Alabama, Louisiana, um, North Carolina, South Carolina. We just want to dominate that whole, that whole sector. Um, we do hope to get bigger with client education and maybe open up a school. That is a possibility, uh, something to that nature. Um, we just hope to be a really awesome company, uh, meeting customers' needs and, and doing what we say we're best at doing.